about 60, 65 degrees today. Everybody knows that's officially the, the first day of starting the fall. Winter's coming. Good old Colorado. Oh. As much as I hate how hot it's been lately, I really am not looking forward to snow. It's gonna suck. Anyway, off to the post office. Let's get these guys mailed off. Are you a good boy? All right, so we got everything mailed off. Got the pig some meat, and I got some tracking numbers. So if you were a winner, then check the comment section below your comment on the 500 subscriber giveaway video, and I will have your tracking number. All right. Holy geez, it's hot today. It's kind of weird, it's like a overcast, but still really humid. Anyway, we got two issues. One, this seat is way too thick definitely needs a foamectomy also i have the speaker seats still and nobody wants to buy them so i'm going to replace the back with the speaker seat backs basically foamectomy the bottoms speaker seat the tops and then put them back in the car so that's the goal for the day So as usual, my videos aren't very tutorial based. They're more of just progress report of things I do. But look up foam actomy for Miata and you'll see a bunch of YouTubers who have either taken out foam from the top or from the bottom. Now, I seem to think that taking it out from the bottom is going to allow the top foam to bend into the hole in the bottom. And that's not exactly what I want. I want this to still sit in the bottom the way it does and I want the top to be nice and flat. So I'm gonna be taken from the top and the consensus I've seen for the way to do this is to take a razor knife and cut some squares into it and then you can dig each square out so I'm gonna do that now all right so that's kind of what it looks like afterwards you won't be able to see the lumps and uh, rips and ridges in it once the foam padding because there's still some kind of foam on the seat cover itself another good idea would be to take this side bolster and move it to the passenger seat and vice versa because the passenger seat obviously has less miles and will have less entry tears right here and then these entry tears will be on the inside of the passenger side and this side will be on the outside so it'll give you more foam padding on your driver's side so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to investigate this it looks like this might have had some kind of seat upgrade it may just have the headrest speakers because there's only four wires if it had the sub there'd only be two so either way those have to come out and then i can put the speakers from the tan seat in it got the seats all wrapped and the base speaker backing put in also got the stock seat belt put back on so that i can take the harnesses out and put them into the track car oh my goodness day two i got the seats swapped yes and holy geez at the mess So yeah, when you're done, you should have a pile of leftover stuff, Ugh, zip ties, and hardware. But luckily I have extra seat pads in case I don't like how deep I cut the seat pad out. There's another one under there somewhere. And seat back. So if anybody needs any parts for their seats, like your ratchety side part, ratchety side part, or speaker covers. I didn't know those were in there on some of them. I have them. I also have some sliders, maybe. I don't know if I gotta use those for the track car or not yet. But I have lots of spare parts and hardware. If there's a specific bolt you're looking for. Hard top latches. Like I said, I've got lots of Miata parts. So if there's something you're looking for, let me know. But today, we have got to get the seat belts around the roll bar, which is a pain in the butt. Because it's welded in. I can either cut this and try and move it over even further or I can move this piece over further, which is what I've been doing, as you can see, kind of opening this hole up, and then that allows me to slide this guy in behind it. Kind of, it's really a pain in the butt. 
but I'm getting there. So that's what I got to do today. And then I can get the seats back in, get the belts ready to go. Oh, it's so hot already. It's only like 11. So yeah, more fun. So I finally got all these seat belts in little beat up but I can paint that the speakers work so I'm happy with that my dog already got dog hair everywhere seat belts are working good the foamectomy definitely helped a lot I feel a lot more tucked in after having a racing seat the stock seats are way too high I was literally looking at the sun visor so that's a lot better I'm a lot happier with that now um, I still need an under dash steering column kick panel knee plate whatever so I'm probably gonna order that on eBay today since it's the only one for a 90 to 93 dash that I can find my stereo bezel came but he sent me the older one I wanted one from a J ADM 94 to 97 because the plastic isn't the super brittle plastic that shatters. It's more of like the bendable, breakable plastic. And then he ended up sending me the older one. So I was kind of bummed. I messaged him on eBay explaining why I messaged him multiple times before purchasing with all my questions about if the picture was the actual one I was getting or not because of the different types of plastic and the older ones being brittle and they shatter. So I specifically ordered the one that was from the newer model because in Japan they have this same dash still. They didn't make them like the American domestic market made them put a passenger side airbag in japan they don't have that so the 94 to 97 center bezel is the same shape as the 90 to 93 but it's made with the newer 94 to 97 plastic so it doesn't shatter if you bend it too far so i messaged him and let him know why i ordered the one i ordered and that he sent me the wrong one he apologized saying that they were already packaged up and he just sent one out and didn't realize they were different and he's sending me the other bezel free of charge no shipping from japan didn't charge me extra and does not require me to send the other one back so i'm super happy about that so I'll have an extra 90 to 93 bezel. It seems pretty sturdy. I just don't want to risk it because I'm hard on my shit. So if anybody needs a 90 to 93 stereo bezel, I have one. We can definitely work something out with shipping. Anyway, I'm real happy with the finished result. I'm picking up some more black seat belts later today from a guy on Craigslist so I can replace the tan one because I broke my black ones. I sold the cage from the track car because I'm going to do more of an external cage kind of roll bar go-kart system. So so that's done I have the cash now to move on in the project I need to buy a battery so that I can get it started and hopefully there's no issues with the engine or the trans normally there's not these are pretty reliable cars I've never had any real issues with them so be sure to like if you liked subscribe if you want and as always keep modding
satisfied. I said, Lord, I can't keep crying.